Hi, my name is Tarly Rivera. I'm a sophomore. I participated in camp in 2019-2020, and I am currently studying speech and hearing sciences. When I first got to WSU, I had to move in the day before classes started around 10 p.m. at night, and that was intimidating within itself. But then the advisor at the time, Rafa, emailed me and was like, let's meet tomorrow. I'll show you around with classes and I'll even introduce you to your camp cohort. Little did I know that when he said that, that they would become my best friends and my family. When I went with Rafa, he welcomed me with open arms. I knew where my classes were and even other, other students that were taking the same classes at me. I didn't realize that there's such a big support group while being in camp. But then as time went by, I slowly started noticing that this is my family and this is a community that has the same experiences as me, people that I can rely on. And we had like potlucks, we had Thanksgiving get togethers, we would walk to classes together, we would spend our RDA together, which was the best part. And we even got to go to Chicago, Illinois, which was an unforgettable experience, something that I never thought I would do, especially as a first generation college student. But the opportunities that come with being involved in camp is something uh, I don't think another program would offer me. And I am really thankful to be a part of camp and now even working for them just because I am first gen. I didn't have friends at the time. And the com community that I found myself in was a support group like never before. Something that I wish I would have taken more advantage of is the open door policy that camp implements. As a first generation college student who was facing financial problems, I was on the brink of dropping out and my mental health was just not where I wanted it to be. But I realized late that to go to the advisor and academic retention and everyone else from camp and go and talk to them, uh, when I did, they helped me, they welcomed me with open arms, and they even gave me resources. They directed me with other staff that works at other like programs, and they told me, do this and this, and they actually guided me step by step. One of the surprising things that I didn't notice until later on is that they were willing to walk to the office with me and figure out my financial problems. Being independent, growing up independent, and seeing and having to do everything by myself, I didn't realize how much effort they put in into the programs and us students. And because of this, I really wish I would have taken more advantage of it and spoken about my problems because ultimately it did help with my mental health, my grades, and I'm still here today because of those conversations.